In this video, we're studying relative velocities, and we start with a river that has a three and a half meter per second current to the east, and then we have a boat that can move at seven and a half meters per second with respect to the water, and it's pointed straight to the north, pushing the boat seven and a half meters per second with respect to that water. The river is 70 meters across, and in part A of the problem, we're going to find the velocity of the boat with respect to the shore. And in part B of the problem, we're going to find this eastward displacement, delta x, as the boat crosses the river, aiming exactly at that opposite shore, but getting dragged to the east by the current. And so what we've learned about relative velocities is they simply add, if you do it in the right order, and I can say the velocity of the boat with respect to the shore, and this is kind of an informal notation for this. I'd write V with a subscript of boat slash shore. The velocity of the boat with respect to the shore is equal to the velocity of the boat with respect to the water plus the velocity of the water with respect to the shore. And the velocity of the boat with respect to the water, that's 7.5 meters per second pointed to the north. And the velocity of the water with respect to the shore, that's 3.5 meters per second pointed to the east. So to vector add these, we're going to need a triangle. And I've got my seven and a half meters per second to the north, my three and a half meters per second to the east. And then what I'm interested in here is the total velocity of the boat with respect to the shore in polar form. And we can just measure that angle with respect to the northward direction. So the magnitude of that total velocity is given by the Pythagorean theorem. And when we run the numbers on this, we get 8.28 meters per second with respect to the shore. The angle is given by an inverse tangent. So this is the angle whose tangent is three and a half. That's the opposite side over seven and a half, the adjacent side. And when we run the numbers on this, we get 25.0 degrees, again, sticking with the convention of just keeping three sig figs on everything. Now, if you prefer, you could label that angle with respect to the eastward direction instead, I'll call that phi. And of course, theta and phi add to 90 degrees. So it's also fine to express it as an angle phi with respect to the east, and that would be 65 degrees. In part B, we want to find the eastward displacement of the boat when it arrives at the opposite shore. And there's two different ways to do this. I think the quickest way to do it is to say, well, if the boat is always moving at 25 degrees with respect to the northward direction, and we know that it moves 70 meters in the northward direction, we can just sketch a triangle for the displacement. That's 70 meters to the north, some unknown delta x for the eastward displacement, and I know that it happens at an angle of 25 degrees with respect to the northward direction. This means I can just use a tangent function to get access to that delta x. So I write down the tangent of 25 degrees is delta x over 70. That's the opposite over adjacent. So delta x is 70 tangent 25. And when I run the numbers on this, I get 32.6 meters. Now there's another approach to part B, and I think it's instructive to show this. If I really want to get into the nitty gritty of the kinematics here, I can find the time for the boat to cross the river, and then I can use its eastward velocity, that three and a half meter per second eastward current, to figure out what the eastward displacement is. So first to find the time to cross the river, I just have a simple relationship of distance equals rate times time. So I'm gonna write y equals vy times t. That means the time to cross the river is y over vy, and it covered 70 meters in that y direction at a speed of 7.5 meters per second in that y direction. And this gives me a crossing time of 9.33 seconds. Then we look at the horizontal direction. And to describe the kinematics in the horizontal direction, again, it's just moving at a constant velocity in that direction. So it's really just distance equals rate times time. X equals the X velocity times the time. And that current was moving to the east at three and a half meters per second. And it did that for 9.33 seconds as the boat crosses the river. And when I run the numbers on this, I get 32.7 meters. So there's a slight discrepancy between the two answers. One was 32.6 and one was 32.7. That can be attributed to rounding error. And we finish with a high degree of confidence that we've got the right answer. If you enjoyed this video or at least found it useful, check out another one by clicking one of the links on the left or click the Zach's Lab logo on the right to explore dozens of physics and math playlists. As always, you can leave your questions, comments, and requests in the comments section below, and I'll get back to you within 24 hours. Thanks for watching Zach's Lab, and best of luck on your math and physics journey.